One final organizational tool that we'll cover in this course is Maya's Layer Editor. The Layer Editor offers yet another way to organize a scene, allowing us to easily lock or hide a selection of objects. As mentioned earlier, the Layer Editor is in the lower right corner of the Maya UI. To create a new display layer, just select one or more objects, then click on the Create Layer button, the blue circle over a white plane on the far right. A new display layer will appear that contains the selected items. This layer can be renamed by double-clicking on the layer, then entering a new name in the Edit Layer pop-up window and clicking the Save button. The layer visibility may be turned on and off by clicking on the letter V to the far left of the layer name. When the layer is visible, we can click on the far right box to set the layer to T for Template Mode, a gray wireframe display that can't be selected. Or we can click again to set the layer to Reference Mode, which looks like a standard object in Shaded Mode, but is also locked and displays black edges when we press 4 to enter Wireframe Mode. Clicking on this box a third time will return us to a standard selection mode. The letter P relates to animation playback and isn't important for this course. You can also create empty layers by clicking on the icon with the blue plus symbol. You can create as many display layers as you need and reassign objects to different layers by selecting the geometry, right-clicking on a layer, and choosing Add or Remove Selected Objects. And we can reorder the layer list by clicking on the icons with the blue up and down arrows. Finally, the color of wireframe display for each layer can be modified by double-clicking on the layer name to bring up the layer editor again and choosing a color from the picker at the bottom of the window. The layer editor is a very handy tool for managing the display of complex models with a large number of separate pieces.